Good thing we're not doing face cam because my hair is horrible. When was the last time you got a haircut? My hair is beautiful. February. Wow. My hair is March. Beautiful. Mine was. I've literally two days been mine was twisting like, some of my hair and now it looks all twisted I got a haircut up and like two days ago. Bro, uh, Izzy got a haircut literally like, yeah, two days ago. I was like, bro, you out here risking. <laughs> And then before that, before, Bro, like, no, brother. before like two days ago, I got one like a week before that. Bro, your barber getting paid extra? Yeah, I gave him, I gave him 20 bucks. Nice. Uh, uh, Ohio said. Actually, no, we gave him, we, actually, I gave him 25 uh, on Thursday. That was good. I mean, I, I usually give him, I usually give him, well, he he charges 10, but I give him 20 anyway, because he's, my, usually because he's my homie. He's, I've been, so like, I think I can mention tip. I gained 25 this time. Gotcha. But hey, when did like, they say uh, places like barbershops are going to open back up? For is you, it right? June? For June 1st, right? The, for me, it's the 15th. Of May? Yes. We're oh, supposed nice. to open up. I actually, I heard that too over here as well. Well, not, they might open barbershops and restaurants. Like barbershops, salons, uh, dentists. Yeah, I need to get a haircut too. Like, I, last time I got it was March. It's all crazy, you know. All right, so let's go to our next topic. What's our next topic? Hey man, Little right. Richard died. Who? Little Richard. Yeah, Little Richard. Little Richard, who's that? What? How? He is the spirit of rock and roll. What do you mean? How do that? you not know? Are you rec- are you recording? Are you recording? Yeah. yeah. Recording. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, live. This man does not know who Little Richard is. Our host, Syed, does not know who Little Richard is. What kind of. That's like saying you don't know who John Cena is. I'm just kidding. It's not that extreme. But, anyways, yeah. Little Little Richard has passed away, and, you know, I just want to put my condolences out for Little Richard because he is a legend. R.I.P. The man was 87 when he died. Shut up, Syed. You know who that is. Hey, I I just Googled him. (laughs) I don't care. That's cheating. Cam, Cam, what are your thoughts? You know, you know, you send your condolences out for Little Richard. You know, RP, RP, he's a legend. All right, and uh, I just want to add something. Um, RP, Little Richard, we will miss you. Syed doesn't know who he is. Ziggy was very unprofessional. Yeah. I mean, since this is the first time I'm hearing about him, <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll research him and you know, <laughs> send my condolences. You to... No, you're not allowed to send your condolences. You, you're not allowed. I right, fine, fine. All, All right, right anyways. Next topic. All right. So basically, you know, as you guys know, a lot of every single movie theater is currently closed. But Tenet and Mulan are supposed to be the first official movies to open in July. So that means Tenet, because Christopher Nolan said he still wants Tenet to have its original July 17th date. So that is probably going to be the first movie to come out. And it's probably going to be the movie that's going to test to see. Uh, how well a summer movie is going to do this year with everything that's happened. Uh, and you know what? Personally speaking, I'm glad that they're sticking with that date because I'm tired of not being able to watch all these movies, man. Like, it's been depressing with all the cancellations and stuff. So, like, I would totally be down to, to go July 17th to watch Tenet. Like, I would be comfortable enough to do that, so... Yeah, I'm I'm excited for it. Hopefully that they stick with that date and hopefully people come out to watch it, but we'll see. You know, it's going to be a test for them to see if the audience is comfortable enough to go out and watch uh, movies right now. So, Cam, what are your thoughts? Uh, do you think you would be comfortable enough to go out in July? I'm hoping that all this ends by June or July. Just I don't want to be sitting in the house for the next few months because once you're once summer starts up and you're sitting in the house, you're basically stuck there. Like I'd learn that the hard way. Same with winter as well. Yeah, that's true. I mean, even I mean, I would consider myself an introvert, but like I go out to watch every single movie that I want to. Like you know, like as soon as I can. Like Thursday nights used to be like movie nights for all the new good movies that would come out. But yeah, it's been hard with uh, not being able to go to the movies. Uh, Izzy, what about you? Uh, I mean, you're somebody who's 
pursuing a career in Hollywood. So what's the state of everything and how are executives feeling about, you know, movies coming back in July and, you know, Tenet and all that? Well, the bright side is that if more movies come back, we got our jobs back. If you guys don't know, um, when I graduated college, I got a job working on independent films in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So we basically just shoot scenes from bigger films in the city because uh, Netflix did buy a studio here. Um, they bought one of our main, or, uh, they main studio and they're still moving in, but there's been independent films where people use their own money and their own people, blah, 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 to create, to do scenes for movies. Some are shot here, some are shot in LA, some are shot in Chicago, Cincinnati, Maryland, Louisiana, Florida, Washington. Um, they almost sent me to um, Delaware one time, also Missouri. I've also almost, almost been sent to to shoot movies. So yeah, so we've been out of a job. I've been working my college job because when I got, graduated college last May, I got a job in the summer um, working on independent films, and I still have my college job. So the whole time I was working with movies, I still kept that college job because when you're in the movie industry, you're not always in work. You're only working when you're shooting a scene or a film or whatever you should show tv show a tv show movie whatever you're shooting <clears throat> and you have to pick up jobs so i kept my college job you know just as a just as a side thing and i still have connections with my boss there and he lets me pick up shifts whenever i want so i've been working there recently since we've, i've been at a job for about three four months or something like that so I still have money coming in but it's great that if movies are coming back we are all getting a job once again and, and Hollywood start opening them as Miramax. The main Miramax studio is in uh, Beverly Hills, and it got shut down, obviously because of the of the coronavirus. And a lot of people are out of work right now, but you do make a lot of money. So and then they got stimulus checks and all that stuff. But they are making too much. I don't think they got stimulus checks because Miramax employees make more than the required amount, I believe. So it's great, but it's great for them to get back to work, get back what they want to do, and what they worked, what they worked hard for. Um, and it's good for the fans, you know. People who are fans of certain movies, are going to go see the movies they wanted to see, they've been looking forward to for a while, and you go see them, and that's that's great. And uh, most importantly, like I said, for me personally, because I, as I said, I work, it's my career to work in the industry, so it's good to see people I know. I have a lot of connections in LA, and they're going to go back to work and hopefully open up s- soon. Not saying like tomorrow, but hopefully soon they start opening up and we start pumping out films. As you know, once all this is over and people are allowed in big crowd areas again, movies are going to get pumped out like crazy and people are going to be rushing to hit those movie theaters because they have missed those. So I'm really happy for the employees who are going to go back to work. I'm happy that some of these movies, hopefully they're successful. And uh, we have uh, a good future in the movie business. I hope 2020... I hope the corona is over soon, so 2020 has a really good end for movies in 2021. 2021 should be probably one of the biggest years in movie sales in a long time, maybe all time, because it's been so long. And a lot of movies that are supposed to come out this year were postponed to 2021, so 2021 is going to have an explosion of movies, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, that, that's true. I, I'm definitely looking forward to 2021 as a movie year. And you know what? I don't want to hear anybody with this uh, bullshit excuse of, oh, people are not going to be feeling safe enough to go out. Oh, my God, you guys are risking uh, people's health to go out for movies. I'm like, just shut up, right? Like, it's like, look, the virus is the virus, all right? Just don't be stupid about it. But people are going to want to go out, all right? They'll take whatever precautions they need to, and they'll go out to watch movies. It's simple as that. I personally believe, like Izzy, you know, people are going to rush out to watch these movies. And, yeah, they're going to have a big bounce back year at the movies uh, in 2021. For sure, man. For sure. Hey, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that video. And make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And click on the channel to check out some more awesome videos like our movie and wrestling debates and our interviews with people like the Wrestling Classic and Jordan Jomo from the IGWC. And we are definitely looking 
into delivering you all some more content in the near future. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And thank you for your support.